What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to... F uh, sorry. I mean, welcome to Five Nights at Smudger's Nightmare Mode. Sorry, I just messed up my lines there. <laughs> Where this is the sequel to Five Nights at Smudger's Remastered 1, Remastered 1, because it takes place after the events of the first game. If you're wondering why I'm playing this game, it's because, um... I gotta tell you... Five Nights of Smudgers Remastered Night 5 is so hard. In fact, I, tr I tried doing this yesterday because I was going to try to beat it. But I just ended up giving up because it was so hard. And even if I could even if I could beat Night 5, there's a 99% there's a 99 chance I would not have been able to beat Night 6. Because, it was, it would mo because it's most likely going to be just as hard as Five Nights of Smudgers 1's Night 6. So yeah. Anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game. Let's see what that's offer for us. Oh, that's a nice main menu selection. Okay, night one. Nightmare Shift 1. Just the day after Max Reynolds quit his job at Smudger's Railway, and because of the traumatic events that happened while he worked, he had a nightmare about the old railway. Oh, so we're playing in a nightmare. So apparently Max Reynolds, we're playing as Max Reynolds in a nightmare about the old railway. And of course, this this whole office is familiar because this is from Smudger's Railway, from Final Fantasy Smudger's Remastered. Alright, night one for threat. For Smudger, if you for Smudger, if you see him in the front hall, front hallway, use the front shock. Proteus, if you hear him, use the front shock. Bertram, if you see him in the right hallway, use the right shock. Controls, click the doors to toggle the flashlight. The monitor has two shock buttons. They both have cooldowns. Enter to start the night. Oh. How do we click? Oh, night. Oh, there's a poster smudger saying night one. Okay. Alright, so apparently we have to click the doors to use the flashlight, which is what we're doing. And we have to check the front hallway and the right. We can't check the left. And if we see anybody there, we have to use the shock button right here. And it has a cooldown. The flashlight, thank, thankfully the flashlight is unlimited battery. Can I honk the nose? Oh, I can't honk Smudger's nose. <laughs> That's weird. Usually in a Final Fantasy Smudgers game, you can honk the poster's nose. Same with like any Final Fantasy Freddy's fan game. And Final Fantasy Freddy's 1, like you can honk the nose. Okay, what's that sign there? And why is there blood on the floor? And there's black flags hanging on the wall. And then we have a poster of Smudger saying that I have won. With his eyes looking evil. So now we just, so I guess we just use the flashlight and check for Smudger, Proteus, and Bertram. Speaking of Bertram, oh, Smudger. Alright. Speaking of Bertram, his name is spelled wrong. <laughs> it's supposed to be spelled B-E-R, not B-U-R. Alright, so the shock has a cooldown. What? How did I get killed by Bertram? I was about to check the right hallway and then Bertram killed me. That's weird. I don't get how Bertram killed me if I checked the right hallway. Alright, I'll just keep checking. It's weird that Bertram killed me when I was checking the right hallway. That's weird. Okay, so the right one has a cooldown. The, the mid, the front doesn't have a cooldown. And what's that health bar up there? Do I need to be concerned about that? Pr 
Proteus, I just have to, if, if we hear him, we have to use from one. Because I don't think we're going to see Proteus, so we just have to listen for him. Or Smudger and Bertram, we're going to see him, see them. Okay, I'm checking for Bertram, because cause he came out of nowhere when he jump scared me. Is that for the flashlight, that meter, or is it a health bar? I'm confused. Ah, Bertram. Okay, so I got killed by him because I didn't see him, that's why. Okay. Alright. I think that's a flashlight, I can't tell. I think that meter's for the flashlight. I can't tell what it is. Okay. I'm listening for Proteus because... Proteus, you just have to rely on a sound cue since we're not going to see him. Which I haven't had to deal with him yet. I've only had to deal with Smudger and Bertram. Damn it, couldn't get Smudger in time. God, Smudger has those creepy claws. Ugh, I was just about to press the shock button. I couldn't get Smudger. Damn it, Smudger. I think that's for the flashlight, that meter. Alright, so night one's a little bit tricky. It's especially because you have to react in time. I just give you a heads up, we're going to be jumping into part two of this Let's Play soon because the nights the nights are pretty slow. They're not, like, fast. In fact, most FNAF fan games, the nights are pretty slow because there's only a few games out there that have fast, faster nights. So apparently Max Reynolds is the guy you played as in Final Fantasy Motors Remastered. Speaking of nightmares, this game reminds me of Finest of Warriors 4, because in Finest of Warriors 4, you're playing as Richard, McC Richard McCroy in a night, having a nightmare. Alright, checking for Smudger and Bertram. They haven't shown up yet. I don't know why I can't check the left side of the building. I mean, I see, I see the door on the left side of High Smudger. Okay. Now I got up oh, high, Bertram. Okay. I see, I see a left, a left hallway on the door section. I see like a hole there, but I can't check it. It's really weird. I don't know if you can guys hear that or something, but sorry if you can't hear the volume that well, because that's that's the best way I can turn it up. I have it on the highest. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I. Yep. Had to get rid of both Smudger and Bertram. Apparently. This is rare for Knights 1 and 2, but apparently in this game, I'm, I'm getting double teamed. Which is weird, because usually on Knights 1 or 2 or 3, you don't get double teamed until like Knights 4 or 5, 4, 5, and 6. 